What's up, guys? Welcome back to the Good Low TV channel. And today, I can't sleep. It's currently 3.35 in the morning. I went to sleep at like 9 o'clock and then woke up at 1. And I laid there an hour with my eyes closed and I still couldn't go to sleep. So I said, well, why the hell just lay here and do nothing when I could just get an early start in the morning, go to the gym. So that's what I did. So I went downstairs, took some pre-workout. I haven't taken pre-workout in like two or three months probably. So that just completely seals the deal for me. I gotta stay up now because since I hardly take pre-workout I got such a low tolerance to it so when I take it I'm just Bleh! I got energy but yeah this isn't a video dedicated to working out or nothing just a lot of y'all requested hey man I see you've been working out you're getting some juicy gains I see a lot of y'all been requesting that so I thought well I might as well just show y'all some bullshit in the gym but yeah today we're working shoulders chest and triceps we're gonna get a nasty pump honestly the reason I ain't been doing workout videos when I just first started working out was because when I started at the gym I could only bench press like 135 for three reps. Now I didn't want to read all the damn bullshit ass comments. The damn Kenny, that ain't shit. I'm 12 years old and I bench press 800 pounds. No, you don't. I swear everybody in high school, like nobody ever lifted and we'd be like, hey man, how much you bench? Probably like 350. No, you don't. I doubt half the people that said they could bench press 300 plus in high school couldn't even bench 135. By no means am I super strong yet or anything. I'm just not that week. I bench more than my body weight, so that's good. I don't know. I might try to hit 225 tonight. Not sure. I've never actually truly hit 225. I tried 235 one time and I almost got it because it was two plates on a 55 pound bar, but I haven't actually tried like two plates and then boom, rep. I just want to do it because it's that thing, you know, it's that mental thing. You're like, oh my gosh, two plates, first time. Uh. But anyways, let's go in here and lift some. <laughs> We left the gym at about six, so we was there for almost three hours. But, I mean, I've put on a little bit of weight. Abs are fading away a little bit, but that just happens when you gain 30 pounds in three months. But yeah, if you're wondering how long I've been going to the gym, I started about a year ago. I went consistent for about three to four months. Got some decent noob gains, and then when I moved back to this house, I quit going as much. I even went like three months without working out. And then on top of me being inconsistent all that time, as y'all know, my wrist broke, and on top of my wrist breaking, I got super sick. Couldn't eat nothing, throwing up. At the end of September, I was 149. But it's almost three months later, and I stepped on the scale today, and it said 182. But that's with clothes on, so I'd say butt naked 180. But yeah, you know, starting to develop a base. Not a lot of definition, because my triceps are pumped. I feel like I'm getting a lot more gains now, because I just now started actually doing squats and deadlifts. I never did those before. Just because I didn't ever learn the form of them, and I didn't want to be doing them wrong, so I just didn't do them at all. Horrible choice, don't do that. But yeah, bros, I'm excited to... To see the gains. Some lazy sack of shit on the internet can do it. You can do it. Journey to getting juicy. <laughs> 
Just if you start going to the gym and you're going to be a pussy, don't go at all, man. You're just pissing everybody off. I hate when somebody comes up to me and is like, bro, I just, I just can't lose weight. I'm just stuck at this weight, man. I can't gain muscle. I can't lose fat. And then you watch them arrive to the gym. They grab some 35-pound dumbbells, sling them around. And then as soon as they get one little ounce of resistance, more than not being fatigued at all, they drop the weight, rubberneck for some cooter, watch the TV 10 minutes, and then they go home. Like, really, you're not going to get any progression whatsoever if you're doing that pussy shit. You gotta go in there whoosh, whoosh, till failure, dog. Oh. You know how my tripod for my big camera's a piece of shit? Look at this one. Oh, wow. What a surprise. Another one. Now I don't have a tripod for either of my cameras. But anyways, guys, I stayed up all night. I'm hungry as hell now. So I'm gonna go downstairs, cook me some breakfast. But I gotta be quiet. My baby brother's still asleep. Oh, damn. I didn't even realize it snowed. Oh, I didn't even tell y'all the special news. Do you know what's happening today, man? A big old 18-wheeler is gonna pull up right in front of my house. They're gonna open the back gate, and guess what's in there, dog? A 4.6-liter trike. Oh, I'm just so excited to get this forward running, man. But, yeah, I'm gonna cook this breakfast stuff. All right, y'all, just say breakfast, and it's here. Can I get a yeah? From the first impression of the motor, it looks like, wow, it's got everything. Let's drop it in, Kenny. And then you start to look into detail, and you're like, oh, shit. The only reason everything's on it is for convenience of the people selling the motor. Instead of unplugging that, they just snip the hose. Cut the wiring harness off right here. Cut the fuel lines. When it first got here, I was excited. I was like, oh, my gosh, everything's already on there. I'm about to have this truck running today. Then I looked at it, and I read this little yellow slip of paper back there so because i got this motor online there's really no way to tell if it's worth the damn unless i take it apart or put it in the truck i'm gonna put it on the motor stand right here change the valve cover gasket seal up the front cover while i have the front cover off i can go ahead and check the timing chain the guides but yeah i know at first i said i was gonna take apart the motor that i got rebuild it i, I don't want to rebuild this one man it says the warranty lasts a year so i may as well yeehaw the shit out of this one and get all the free motors i can out of I'm just gonna go ahead and take the intake off just to make picking it up with the engine crane and putting it on the engine stand a lot easier. That's what I like to find in the motor, the brand new motor I just bought. I love to find this much mud up under the intake. Really good sign. <laughs> Damn, dude. Hell, I might as well throw the old one I got back in there and run it off seven cylinders. Probably be better than this bogged out piece of shit. Nah, it'll be all right. As long as we get at least two or three good yee hauls out of the motor, I'll be satisfied. As long as they're on video, too. This thing's gotta pay itself off somehow. Well, here's the transmission bolt. And as you can see, you put the bolt in, and only about two threads are sticking out, and I ain't trying to support a whole V8 motor off of two threads. So I'm gonna go to Rural King and get some bolts. I'm gonna bring one of these so I'll make sure I get the right thread pattern. We've acquired the bag. I'm hoping these ain't gonna be too long, but they should work. Let's try them out. So these things are threading in. La, 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 la. Moment of truth. <laughs> First time I've ever done that. We're about to do the bring it around town test. Oh yeah, it'll definitely go around. But there's fluids in it, so I'm just gonna put it back. We got the bolts bolted up like so. Super duper sturdy. I was actually afraid this engine stand wasn't gonna be strong enough, but she's doing fine. What up, sexy? So we're gonna get started on this damn thing. First, I need to get my parts out of the car. We got all the timing components, all the gaskets and seals, and some head bolts. And yeah, we're just gonna start fixing shit. I'm gonna have to rent a tool though. I have to have a three jaw puller to get that off. And then of course, a torque wrench for the head bolts. But before we get the tools, I'm just gonna get as far as I can without them. And then we're gonna be sending this forth through some mud. <laughs> These cool packs are broken. Why the hell would they do that? It's like they just grabbed this thing and went, <laughs> screw y'all. Even if these cool packs did work, you're not getting them for free. Oh, look, why the change the timing chain? 
Because if I didn't, this is what my motor would have sounded like. A <laughs> month? I will break up with you. Good. Think I won't keep hiding stuff from me, can you? Guys, I know y'all really like this girl, and y'all liked her in the older videos, but this is not working out anymore. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and get those tools. I'll be back. All right, we got the harmonic balancer puller on. We're gonna pull this front cover off, then pull the heads. You got it. I'm about to grub down. I'll be back. <laughs> Black hole sun, won't you come? two big chunks of silicone in the oil pan and in the pickup too. That's from y'all people that when you change the valve cover gasket, you put that little bead of silicone on the crack from the front cover to the block. Y'all that just put like a gallon of silicone, that's what happened. Get crap in your pickup tube and your oil pressure goes down. Bam, metal shaving. Definitely gonna need new water pump. Switched over to the big cam. Figured y'all would appreciate this video quality over the GoPro. So though it's not super wide angled, my head's cut off. Figured y'all would want a more detailed view. Hell, yeah, might as well share a little backer with Hazy there. Huh. I'll let her have a few strands. Kodiak power in it. Alright y'all, I had the battery charging and while it was charging I went ahead and cleaned the block and the head. They're not perfect, they're just smooth enough on the mountain surfaces. <laughs> the big scary job everybody talks about. I'm about to look up the torque pattern for this thing. Now I gotta do the same pattern, but 90 degrees on all of them. Now I gotta do the same thing one last time and it should be good. Try to wipe the surfaces down one last time, throw this gasket on. But after I finish putting this together, I'm gonna go ahead and go to bed. Cause to be able to change all the timing stuff, I'm gonna have to rent cam holders and sadly there's no such thing as a 24 hour auto part. So I'm gonna just have to wait till tomorrow to rent the tool. Well, that's that. Heck yeah. Really hope I did this right. I guarantee a bunch of y'all are thinking, dude, why didn't you get the heads machine? Why didn't you clean off the block better? Blah, blah, blah. Honestly, man, this motor's a piece of shit. Not like a complete piece of junk, but I'm, I'm very disappointed in my purchase. Because when I bought this thing online, I figured it was gonna come in remanufactured, already rebuilt. They didn't even unplug shit. They just snipped everything, pulled the motor, and then made sure they broke every sensor so I couldn't reuse them. Like, damn, they, they can't just let me have some free sensors? <laughs> but yeah, man, it's a shame. I looked down in here in the block, and I swear the people that own this motor before me put a can of stop leak in it every other day. All up inside the coolant past the joys is just gunked up. No chemicals that you spray in there will take it off. Blow an air hose doesn't do nothing. I guess it's just gonna have to come out and get clogged up in the radiator, then I'll flush it out that way but I mean it's not really a big deal it's kind of my fault I should have really looked into what I was buying on the internet I should have read the description a lot better but honestly man something tells me that when I bought the motor that it said remanufactured blah 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 rebuilt and then right after I bought it I was probably their only customer so they just changed the little thing use junk motor doesn't work but I'm gonna go ahead and end this video here I apologize if this wasn't really that good of one I didn't really talk much I just been so focused on this motor but don't y'all worry when that Ford's going, we're gonna be right back to making some fire ass content. Don't even worry, it's coming, buddy. That is, if I did any of this right. But I'm pretty confident in myself, I'm sure it'll work. But, anyways, y'all, really hope you enjoyed today's video. If you got a little kick out of it, maybe some laughter, make sure you let me know by leaving this video with a big thumbs up. And if you haven't already, hit the subscribe button. Bros, we got like 
355,000 subscribers at the moment. That's a lot of people. Let's keep that number growing. So make sure you subscribe and tell everybody you know to subscribe as well. And follow me on Instagram. Good low TV. Add me on Snapchat. RNTV underscore 15. And I'll catch you next time on the Good Low TV channel. Later.